Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Freedom Fighting Friday. My name is Brian, your host and commentator, and here we are with our massive stockpile. And boy, do we have a couple of episodes coming up, a couple of chapters to deal with. These, <laughs> This one and the next one specifically. Anyway, let's see what's going on. Your handling of the command center was very effective at quelling further advances by the Soviets. Well done indeed. Yeah, well, it's not all good news, Jones. Tell him. Tell him what happened. We're seriously hurting here. I'm sorry to have to tell you, Chris, but your brother is dead. Shortly after he appeared on television... No! Troy! We understand that he was executed personally by General Tatarin. Personally? Ooh. Without a flinch or tear. Makes it so much more personal. I know it is painful. You can be proud of him. Man, I can't take this. If Tatarin's gonna pay for killing Troy. He's gonna regret he ever stepped foot in New York. I say we hit him with everything we've got and Bags? Chris, I'm sorry. Bags. I know it hurts, but we need to keep a cool head. We don't want to do anything irrational. Yet, I have a strange feeling about this. Yes, well... The fuck is going on? Truly hurt the Soviet agenda is to assassinate Tatarin. Chris is a ninja now. From the Soviet ranks and give way to a united American resistance. Oh, oh, well, that's a brilliant plan, Jones. What do we do? Invite ourselves over for a cocktail, then slip some cyanide in his vodka? No, we're gonna need some serious firepower to take Jeez. him down. Jeez, that guy's bumps him. Every rat and cockroach on the island. Jones might be right. If we did manage to remove Tatarin, it could be the turning point for our cause. Let's double check our intelligence. There has to be a way to get him. After yesterday's hit on their installations, they'll be expecting company. This will need to be a surgical strike. We can't risk sending in a surgical strike. I'm afraid this is a solo operation. S or a two man operation. I know this is personal, Chris, and that's cool, kid, but if you need me, I'm with you all the way, buddy. Bring on to Tarn and his boys. I got plenty of bullets for him. I quite agree with Isabella. This mission calls for stealth, not ham-handed bravado. There's a yeah, bags. The weapons gallery. Run and gun, motherfucker. We need to get some to sneaky in there. Let's do this. Let's view the map. You must assassinate Tatarin. Without his leadership, the Soviet armed forces will crumble. This is no easy task and demands stealth if you are to succeed. Bide your time and find a good sniping position. It is the key to your success. All right, so this is a pretty straightforward mission. We just got to kill General Tatarin. Oh, yeah, I pressed you back. You got to press A to enter. There's three. That's right. Count them. Three. Sewers. We're going to be using those a bit too, <laughs> by the way. Because as soon as you die, you can just quick save and whatnot. So, yeah. In this area. Oh, shit. Shut up, Chris. Why are you being so loud? So, we got to be sneaky. We got these these fools coming over here. Doesn't look like they noticed us. Nice. Got it. Got him. Let's go this way. We're going to head around here. I guess we can speed it up now. We want to take out a sniper that's perched up here. Because that ain't cool. So there he is. He's like, oh, I don't know. I don't suspect a thing. I'm just the silly sniper. Oh. <laughs> just like, oh. All right. So I'm thinking. Ooh. I'm really thinking I should maybe I should have came with a sniper. No, I already committed with I'm I'm committed with the shotgun. So we have to you're basically gonna need a sniper at the end of this. That's how we're gonna kill General Tatarin. Because we're gonna snipe the fuck out of him because he has some heavy, heavy security around his uh little spot that he's at. He's over there being a douchebag. Let's climb up here and duck down. Just move along the wall. Let that light go. And we'll drop down here when we get the chance. 
Let these soldiers run by. Did they run by fully? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's go over here. Is this the only one? He's like, what's going on? Oh shit, it's not the only one. <laughs> Just blasting them as they turn the corner. Alright, heal up. Oh jeez, I should have waited to heal. I didn't know that guy. Ah! Man, I alerted all of them. Oh, wow. Do have some health up here, though, so that's good. That guy is... Oh, he's down there. I see you, motherfucker. All right. Let me... Ooh, shotgun ammo. Look at all that shotgun ammo. Holy shit. Oh, shit. And there's that guy. Get out of here. All right, I'm just going to run a gun now. Fuck it. I got a shotgun. I've got eight med kits. Like, I'm ready to go. This is it's fucking America, man. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Just guitar riff comes in. Ready to roll. Oh, yeah, I have full health kits. I already went over that. I explained that earlier. All right, we got to make our way to the end of this little uh, alleyway area section. Whatever. Yeah, alleyway. Let's we'll call it an alleyway. Oh, shit, it's the Freedom Phantom. Oh, Apparently there was an explosive barrel that I... <laughs> so just like... I don't, was I aiming there? I felt like that locked on. I thought he was already dead though. I don't think that he needed another shot. But then it like kind of felt like it locked on. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, yeah, we're going to take care of these three fucking clowns real quick. Go ahead and get ourselves our first quick save. That's going to be groovy. Now if I die, I could just reload to this point. Because that, that was a lot we just did. We had that cutscene. How far? Yeah, that was seven minutes worth of shit. We just... Well, the, I don't know. I could edit. Like, you know, I could cut. Jump from the cutscene, whatever. All that stuff. We're just two Soviets in a dead end. And now you're dead in a dead end. You're two dead Soviets in a dead end. Fucking commies. All right, let's go this way. Oh jeez. Hey, like that little duck maneuver. I dodged the shit out of your shots. So there's a there's kind of like a fuck. There's like a barricade over there. Yes, yeah, so that guy got the hell out of there. He's like, "Oh, fuck that shit." I'm actually kind of wondering So you did that, you did that, yeah, took, took out the guy behind the turret, nice. Ah! Holy cannoli. You gotta turn it on him. Alright, I gotta get off this thing because I'm getting hurt. I'm getting injured. This is a lot more fun than sneaking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I snug in my uh, other playthrough. My practice run, I, I was all be, I was being a sneaky bastard. This is a lot more fun though. Kind of wish I would have done this. Shit, it's like easier too. It's like I don't know. I'm like doing better. I have like more health packs than I did when I was sneaking or some shit. I don't know. It's crazy. By the way, all the equipment that you have at the end of this chapter, the end of this level, um, it's what you're gonna start with in the next level. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and open the sewer because we did so much there. Basically cleared a. Uh, Clear those guys out. It's going to make our escape a lot easier. So that's what I'm looking forward to is the, a nice, easy escape. Because we're, we're going to get chased by helicopters and shit. It's just a whole thing. So there's a sniper up in these. Well, there's two, there's two snipers in the tower to the right. There's one sniper in the tower on the left. There's a sniper right here. Ow. I'm going to go ahead and... Ow. I'm going to go ahead and swap out so I can take care of this fucking loser. Fucking asshole. All right, so there's one in this tower, too. Where he at? There he is. Where he at? You got all ghetto on that one. Um, zoom in. I haven't done that yet. You can press the black. Well, it's the black and white buttons on the Xbox. I don't know what it would be on the other controllers of this 
generation. I'm going to bring my shotgun with me. Because there's snipers up in those towers. And once we get in that tower up top, that's, uh, that's all we need to do. We just get in that tower. You shoot out these light posts, though, for some reason. Let's do that. It's like, hey, you need to be sneaky. Shoot the light post. Oh, come on. Wow, this thing is inaccurate as fuck. I don't know why I take this gun anywhere. I was like, it has the same amount of ammo as the other gun that I have. I might as well take this one because I think it does more damage. I don't even know if it does more damage. It's a piece of shit. My American six shooter climb his ladder. I'm gonna get him. The Freedom Phantom. That's what they call him. Christopher Stone. Dead brother Troy Stone. Let's grab these. Let's grab this. Alrighty then. So we got General Tartar and we'll just kind of walking around. Ooh, nice ass. Ooh, wee! Look at him go. Oh, wow, that missed. He's like, oh, what the fuck? That went horribly. Wow. I did not have that much trouble on my other playthrough. And see, we've got these, like, armored-ass dudes. Look at this guy. Look at all that armor. What? Like, how am I supposed to deal with that shit? So that's why I got to snipe him. So he's got some armored-ass dudes around him. They're just fucking hanging out. It's bad. All right, so now the helicopter's going to be chasing us. We need to get the hell out of here. Oh, my goodness. Get, get going, Chris. Run, nigga, run! Some some dude in the... Some freedom fighter captive. He's like, you're our only hope! Why can't we just go into the... Like, I don't know. The sewer's right there. Just trying along. But we did take care of all these guys, so that made it extra easy. Feel like Forrest Gump right now. There's like no. See, the, when I was escaping on my practice playthrough, there was all this resistance here because I snuck past all this, and that's actually where I was kind of struggling a bit. And I'm, I don't know. I did a lot better. Like I just completely changed up the tactic, and did a lot better on this run. And that's, it's surprisingly better than I thought it would be. You know what? There's some Soviets around this corner. I'm just going to go kill them. I'm going to go around here and kill them. If they didn't already bum rush up there to the front. Nope, they're right here. Fuck you. Ugh. Oh, what the hell was that? They got Vlad. Oh, Dimitri, no. All right, let's go down here. So once you enter that boat, you finish the stage. Um... And it kind of just forces the next chapter on you with a cutscene. So I'm actually going to end the episode at the the like title screen because I'm going to record the next episode right after that. So that's how we're going to do that. So yeah, as soon as we get on the boat. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. I killed 35 enemies, used 6 med kits, and fired 152 shots. 9 minutes and 40 seconds. Nice. Anyways, my name is Brian and hopefully I will see you in the next one.